Well, that have jobs, sure. But that, let me ask a question. How many new hospitals and schools, how many new hospitals and schools have been built in the last five years in, in Gaza? Nearly not. Yeah, why? Because there's nothing there. No, there's hundreds of millions of dollars going to them. No. no food. Yes, there is. Hold on, you're, you're just making stuff up. Not drinkable. I don't like where this you're is getting your stats from. By visiting, actually. Have you? Have you? Yes. Have you, I've, I visited Gaza. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to a new video today. We're going to be checking out Charlie Kick. His name is Charlie Kick. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Triggers anti Israel students with thoughts about Hamas. Okay. All of us check this video out. Let's get right into it. Why aren't Jews allowed in Gaza? Oh, but but Arabs are allowed in Israel. How's that possible? The Palestinians are allowed in Israel. There's no one it's what? In or out of Gaza. I'm sure they are. No, they're not. What do you mean, sure they are? If you're an Arab, you're allowed in Israel. You're allowed in and out. You're only, only a select. Gaza. 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 Yes, you're. A, what are you talking about? You can't go in or out of Gaza. I I've Neither been. There, there's a road that goes in there. And who are allowed out of it? The Palestinians are allowed visitation rights to Israel 60 times a year. 60 times a year. Yes, and, and they, by, by, by the way, you, 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 for the first example, do you know that there's 120,000 people that live in Gaza that work in southern Israel? Did you know that? They obviously drive they back and permit. forth. Oh, so they can leave. I thought you said it's locked land. Gaza, Is it locked land or no? More than 50% of young students, young kids, young people in Gaza are unemployed. Because Hamas is you running know, Gaza. Who's the, the governing authority of Hamas? is completely sewage Hamas no okay so let's ask the question can I ask you a question water. what what is Hamas UN doing with the hundreds of millions Gaza, of dollars one of the most unlivable because Hamas is the, the, the governing world. authority because there's the IDF no, used to else. control Gaza Hamas are the people there them? of course what makes you say that because the, whether it be the, the access to medical care the schools things were better in Gaza when Israel was in control now they're worse <laughs> And Israel's still in control. No, they're not. The IDF is not in Gaza. When you're blocking <laughs> out a land that only Israel takes is control of that they're not, border, how are they not in control? I just, I just dispelled that. You have 100,000 no, plus people with work visas in southern Israel. More than a million people there. That two million, are, actually. So, oh, thank you. Yes. So you're and, and they democratically two elected million, terrorists. 100,000 people are allowed in and out. Well, that have jobs, sure. But that, let me ask a question. How many new hospitals and schools how many new hospitals and schools have been built in the last five years in, in Gaza? Nearly not. Yeah, why? Because there's nothing there. No, there's hundreds of millions of dollars going to them. No. There's no food. Yes, there is. Hold on, you're, you're just making stuff up. Water is not drinkable. I don't like where you're getting your stats from. By visiting, actually. Have you? Have you? Yes. Have you, I've I visited Gaza. What right, though? Because what, what do you mean, what right? Are allowed in and out. Well, I'm, 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 not, I'm not Jewish. I'm Christian, okay. actually. So, But I do support Israel. But a answer me the question, though. Why is it that they haven't built a new school or hospital in the last five years? Hundreds of millions of dollars pour into Gaza. It's because Hamas runs Gaza right now, and they're a terrorist organization. So Israel got out of Gaza in 2005 in the pursuit of peace. 10,000 Jews were actually forced out of their homes in the pursuit of peace. Gaza got more dangerous. It became a hot tub for terrorists. You know where Hamas's money is being spent? On terror tunnels and rockets being shot towards Tel Aviv. Where were those two rockets shot two weeks ago out of? They were shot out of Gaza. Yeah, two rockets. Oh, what's the big deal? Yeah, wh wh who cares when Jews have rockets shot at them, right? Because Israel is, is fighting a defensive right for its own national sovereignty. Okay, she was quite true at that. Um, at first, she was kind of like rude because Charlie was talking and she was talking over Charlie. And for me, that was rude. Uh, this Israel and Hamas fights, it's really serious because the Gaza itself is being controlled by Hamas. And uh, people accept it or not, that is the truth. It has been controlled by, by Hamas. That is a terrorist organization that they were labor terrorist organization. I was saying, what year was that? It's been a while. I can't know the exact year that they were labor terrorist organization. But those guys control Gaza. Those people don't, they just add them as Palestine. But those guys control Gaza. And if Gaza have not developed for how many years now? Since 2005, where IDF left Gaza, and schools are not being built, hospitals are not being built, and people are suffering at for lack, there's something wrong. There's something that is not right. So, Charlie told telling her that he has visited there. He has seen how everything works. It's someone going there and seeing it for themselves is different from you reading blogs. You understand? So, experience beats um, theory every time. 
So someone go, he's telling her that he had been to Gaza. He have gone, he have traveled there. He have seen how things are working, and she's arguing with him that people are, truth be told, people are unemployed. That is true. Um, people are drinking the water and stuff, but stuff by her, I can't actually get into what she said. But Charlie was like, that is a lie. He have actually been to Gaza, and I have seen how things operate right there. So, and she's trying to argue with him. It makes no point you argue with someone who have been there and you have not been there. Think about it. So, it's, this Palestinian Israel fight, it's, it's really, really serious. Let me don't say Palestinian, let me say Hamas. Because those are the main terrorist organizations. Israel is trying to get, gain sovereignty over the land and also to protect their own, their own people. Because if Israel keep quiet, huh, a lot of deaths are going to occur. occur. Because the um, Hamas, the group there, they, they will come full force. You understand? So Israel have to be defensive to hold their home. If, if you go back in history, also time in the Bible, you will notice that, that Palestine is not actually a country. <laughs> the Arab just came in. You notice that the land itself, that um, Palestine, or Hamas, that dragon, it actually belongs to Israel. It belongs to the Israelites. So if 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 you now come back to where we are right now and seeing what is happening, be like, why the fight? We know a lot of people are dying. We know a lot of people are, are passing through hardship this period because um, things are not working as they normally used to be. But if you observe the war, you notice that Israel are just being defensive because they want to secure. The land, aside that, they want to also defend their people. So people, a lot of people in Israel, Israel are not going to die. Because if you observe, October 7th, a lot of Israel was killed. Father, mother, children, they were all killed. They were slaughtered. By what? By who? Which group? Hamas. The terrorist organization. During the time, Israel were having some feast. Some ceremony. Then Hamas group just came, killed a lot of people that day. A lot of people. So when you see Israel defending themselves, People take it as, uh, why are you guys acting like victim? Why are you guys acting like... They have to defend themselves because they know who those terrorist organizations are. They labeled them terrorist organization a long time ago. So um, the points that lady saying, she have not been there before. So her point actually makes no sense. She's saying what bloggers are saying. And someone who have been there is telling you how things operate. What his observation is. And you are still throwing your words at him. So comment below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to us, me and Asuka, to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, just in my bed. I got scales on.